I'm Congressman Lee Zeldin. Tonight, as we celebrate America as a land of heroes, I'm here at a VFW post of heroes in West Hampton Beach, New York. I've seen amazing Americans in action, raised in a law enforcement family, deployed to Iraq as an 82nd Airborne Paratrooper, and serving today in the Army Reserve. My generation of post 9-11 veterans has huge shoes to fill, following our greatest generation that fought tyranny and saved the world. All over our country, everyday heroes serve and sacrifice for the greater good. Farmers, truckers, craftsmen, these heroes keep America running and President Trump fights for them every day. This year, we've especially relied on one particular group of heroes, frontline medical workers. My twin daughters, Michaela and Ariana, were born over 14 weeks early. They weighed just a pound and a half. At two weeks, Michaela went into septic shock, had a stroke, and underwent brain surgery, leaving a third of the left side of her brain a hole. Her doctors didn't believe Michaela would survive, fearing dire permanent consequences even if she did. Through the miracles of modern medicine, power of prayer, and her will to live, my daughters are now starting high school and doing great with no long-term effects from those frightful months in the NICU. So when I learned my county's PPE stockpile was depleted, I immediately thought of those healthcare workers who saved my baby girls. Jerry Kushner and I were on the phone late into that Saturday night. The very next day, President Trump announced he was sending us 200,000 N95 masks. He actually delivered almost 400,000. That number quickly grew to 1.2 million, masks, gowns, and more. The president sent thousands of ventilators to New York. He deployed the USS Comfort and converted the Javits Center to a field hospital. His administration authorized our lab testing requests at blinding speed. During a once in a century pandemic, an unforeseeable crisis sent to us from a faraway land, the president's effort for New York was phenomenal. For our nation to emerge even stronger, more prosperous, freer, and more secure than ever, to make our country greater than ever before, we must reelect President Trump. We are the land of the free because of the brave. And we are the land of opportunity because we have a president who wants to empower the best of who we are to be the best of what we can be. There's never been a nation greater than ours, never a people more resilient than ours, and never a future for America more promising than ours right now. Keeping America great is up to us, and losing is not an option.